Hello guys, welcome to Minutes 2 Energy, a dedicated network for renewable enthusiasts. Today, we shall be discussing about different type of solar PV systems. PV systems can be very simple, consisting of just a PV module and load as in the direct powering of a water pump motor, which only needs to operate when the sun shines. However, when, for an example, a whole house need to be powered, the system must be operational day and night. It also may have to feed, both AC and DC loads, have reserve power and may even, include a backup generator. Solar PV system can be categorized into three major segments. One, based on system configuration. Two, based on system usage. And three, based on installation type. Based on system configuration, PV systems can be divided into three categories. First, the grid-connected system. It has become increasingly popular for building integrated applications. Solar PV panels are connected to the grid via inverters, which convert the DC power into AC electricity and feed the AC power directly to AC loads via ACDB or supply the power to the connected grid. These systems do not include any storage devices like batteries. Second type is standalone PV systems. Standalone systems rely on solar power only. These systems can consist of the PV modules and a load only, or they can include batteries for energy storage. When using batteries, charge regulators are included, which switch off the PV modules when batteries are fully charged, and may switch off the load to prevent the batteries from being discharged below a certain limit. The batteries must have enough capacity to store the energy produced during the day to be used at night and during periods of poor weather. Third one is the hybrid type. Hybrid systems consist of combination of PV modules and a complementary method of electricity generation such as a diesel, gas, or wind generator. Or even a combination of solar PV and energy storage devices like lead acid or lithium ion batteries can also be considered as hybrid type system. Now let's look at some example. Here on the left side, the grid connected PV system has been shown. It only consists of PV module array with an inverter and connected to local electricity grid and AC loads via the AC distribution panel. On the right side, a simple, standalone, solar-powered, water pumping system can be observed. Please note that this system does not has any type of electrical power source connected to it, except the solar PV panels. A schematic of a hybrid system has been shown here. In order to optimize the different methods of electricity generation, hybrid systems typically require more sophisticated controls than standalone or grid-connected PV systems. In this case of an PV-coupled diesel system, the diesel engine must be started when the battery reaches a given discharge level and stopped again when battery reaches an adequate state of charge. The backup generator can be used to recharge batteries only or to supply the load as well. Now coming to second type that is based on system usage pattern or application. Solar PV systems can be categorized in two parts. First is utility plant where solar power being produced for supply to utility grid purposes only. It can be grid-connected or hybrid diesel or hybrid PV system with energy storage. The capacity of such systems usually lie in from few megawatts to hundreds of megawatts. On the other hand, there are captive plants. Unlike the utility plant, it generates power for a specific user's energy requirement only. And it can be grid-connected or hybrid based on the user's energy demand pattern. Now, the last classification is based on installation type. We can categorize PV systems into three main domain. First is rooftop, second is ground mount type, and the last one is floating type. Rooftop again can be sub-categorized into many different types, but the major two types are flat roof type and tilted roof type. So for an example, on the left, an image of flat roof type has been shown. And, on the right side, it's representing the pitched roof or inclined roof type installation. In case of ground mount installation, based on the module mounting structure's arrangement, there are three type of installation exists in current solar PV market. Fixed tilt, seasonal tracking, single axis tracker, and dual axis tracker. Further, single axis tracker can be divided into vertical axis tracker and horizontal axis tracker. Same for dual axis, trackers will be covered in a separate module. And the last type is floating solar PV systems, which normally indicates the PV array that are floating on a water body. It is a new technology that is growing rapidly due to shortage of adequate land for PV installation. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for more updates and new videos coming every week. And please please like, comment and share the video in your network so that everybody will get the benefit of these content to make our world more green, more clean. Thanks again. See you in next topic.